presumably you've got some plans that you're going to hatch to to counter what will I dare say be the usual Gloucester tattoos of the slow, sticky sort of pitch and dibbly dobbly bowlers. And obviously you want me to share that with the whole of Gloucester <laughs> as well. So uh, yeah, of course we've given that some considerable thought. And it was interesting to watch that last game against Hampshire on TV and the way that game played out. So we've got some time to think about how we'll apply ourselves on a different type of wicket to what we're used to in Taunton. Um, it's got two big games coming up, back-to-back uh, -back Friday and Saturday, um, with a game against Glamorgan as well on the Saturday evening. Um, and we've got ourselves in a good position here, uh, but it's a massive game, and every game is like a cup final. And it's one of the great things about the T20 competition, that the, the competition goes really, really deep. Um, and we've got some good momentum. It's frustrating for us to miss out on the opportunity to play Gloucester at home. Um, to really fancy ourselves on that pitch in our own backyard. Um, but we're also grown over the last couple of years as well, and we need to be more consistent at doing this. But our adaptability um, has definitely developed, and it'll be a good opportunity for us to demonstrate that. We're going to see some more pace off the ball from the Somerset bowlers in the Gloucester fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I think the observations I made in that game that was on TV versus Hampshire, that uh, the team that bowled first used their variations very effectively. Any, any changes to the team likely, or are you going to stick with the, uh, the side that have done so well in, in uh, recent T20 games? We'll give that some thought, but uh, you know the evidence we've seen so far is that that uh, is a good mix we've got at the moment. It's a good combination with bat and ball, we've got good options with the ball, and it's a, it's a team that have got a lot of momentum and got us into this position, so uh, we'll give that some thought. And as you were saying, a really big game, local derby, and the last qualifying place could easily come down to a duel between Somerset and Gloucestershire. Yeah, and I remember a couple of years ago we went to uh, Bristol and uh, the final game and won there to go into the, uh, the knockout stages and there's no better place to go and then turn them over 